Hey guys, I hope you're doing fine. This is Sanket here and welcome back to the another tutorial of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. So in today's video, we are going to turn this image into look like this. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you have to import your image into Lightroom. Now I have already imported this image. Now. Firstly, I'll go to auto. Now auto is usually a good starting point to edit your photos. Next, I'll go to lights. And first of all, I'll play with some highlights and shadows. Now you can see that the shadows in our image are underexposed. So firstly, I'll increase the shadows. I think plus 90 is enough. And I will decrease the highlights to get details back in brighter areas. For example, sky in this case. Thing. minus 80 is enough yeah we are not getting any noise so yeah minus 80 is enough next I'll increase whites to plus 20 and we'll reduce black to minus 20 I think this looks fine next I'll go to curves. Now here I'll try to create S curve, increase some highlights and decrease some shadows. Now if you don't know how curves work, you can see my video on that or you can also watch my previous video on introduction to Lightroom mobile app. Yeah, I think this looks fine. Now click on done. Now we have adjusted the lights in our photo. Now it's time to adjust the colors. Now first of all, let's focus on the white balance. But I think in our image white balance is perfect so we do not need to change the temperature. But we will increase some tint. Let's say by 15. I think 15 looks fine. You can always check before and after by long pressing the screen. Like this. Look how far we have come. Now I'll boost some vibrance. I think plus 25 is fine. Now I won't touch saturation, it's plus 2 because of auto. Now here what I'll do, I'll go to mix. Now here I want to play with particular colors. Firstly let's start with red color. Now, now here I want to turn hue slider towards left side. I want to turn that red towards more reddish. And I'll also increase some saturation. To plus 15 yeah now I'll also increase some luminance of red color to pop up this color here you can see before after now I'll go to orange color and here I will increase some luminance because orange color is allocated for skin color and I will increase the luminance of this color then I'll go to yellow color and I'll move hue slider towards left side and yeah that's what I like. Next I'll go to green color here I'll also move hue slider towards left and here I'll also decrease saturation. Now you can see the green color here at right side. Next I want to play with sky color that is blue. Let's go to the blue color. Now first of all, I'll move hue slider towards left color. It means towards cyan color. Now here I think minus 15 looks fine. Here I'll also decrease some luminance to minus 15. But our sky looks more saturated. So I'll decrease some. Let's move to the minus 10. Yeah, I think it looks fine. And I won't touch this uh, magenta and violet color. Now click on done. Next, I'll go to grading. Now here, I want to add orange and teal look. So in the shadows, I'll add teal color and in the highlights, I'll add orange color. Now here you can see that we are in shadows color circle. If you don't know how to use this color circle, you can watch my previous video on that or find the link above. Now here, first of all, I'll add one point. 
and move the hue slider towards now for teal color i usually keep it to 190 and for saturation value you can always check the results now i think yeah 15 looks fine next i'll go to highlight color grading now here i'll add orange color i'll set hue value to 30 and saturation will be at 20. Yeah, that's look fine for me. Now done. Now, next move to the effects. Now first of all, I'll decrease some texture here because in this area, like the door, I want to make it more soft. So I'll decrease towards minus 10. Next, I'll add vignette. It will add subtle darkness around our main image. I think, yeah, minus 16 looks fine. Midpoint more towards center. Then roundness and feather. Towards 70, I guess, yeah. Now, I won't touch this below sliders. Now let's go to the details. Now I won't sharpen this image, but I'll play with the noise reduction because I want to remove some noise if there is any. So I'll move it towards 10. Yeah, I think this looks fine. And next I'll also increase some color noise reduction slider. I'll also move it towards 10. Yeah, I think this looks fine. Now that's it. But here you can see that I need to increase more shadows so I'll go to light tab again and I'll move a shadow towards 100% and also I think blue color is still more saturated so I'll go to colors mix then to the blue color and I'll reduce the saturation yeah, I think minus 35 looks fine so here you can compare before and after so thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, do subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon not to miss any of my future videos. Till then, bye bye.